Well, I hope you had a happy New Year first night and that you're ready for 2014 because it's here by the time you see this. We're recording on the uh, 30th of uh, December 2013 and we're looking at pictures from 2008. If you don't believe it, look down at the bottom of the screen where the, the material's there. There's Tom at left and Squeaky Goose at right. And haven't seen them in a while, but uh, they were part of our neighborhood for a few years. And uh, they were both wild and could have left if they'd chosen, but they like to hang around our place. We got a few sparrows from 2008 there. Those were, that's on 1130, uh, November 30th. Squeaky liked to swim wherever she could find water. So a bucket was just as good as creek. And when wild, other wild geese flew over, she never went after them. You saw Lionel Jordan in his final meeting as a member of the city council just before he became mayor at the beginning of 2009. And you saw uh, a woodpecker and a lady cardinal feeding together. And now we've, and, uh, we've got uh, mist flower with some butterflies, skippers, and so forth on it. And this was, I think, a little earlier, maybe in October 2008. And that's a painted lady, I believe. And uh, anyway, these uh, that was a member of the Vanessa family. And I think that's a, a little lady family, maybe there. But these are kind of intense uh, color, and I liked them. So I have lots of pictures from that year, and uh, those are favorites. Put you back in time a little bit. We didn't have as many mist flowers at World Peace Wetland Prairie this year as we've had in previous years. So I have relatively few shots of mist flower with butterflies. And of course, here's some um, hair streak butterflies different angles and they're on fall asters. I always say the reason to uh, not destroy these tiny asters in fall is right here in this photo. Many, many species, including bumblebees and uh, flower fly in the right in that picture, uh, using those tiny asters because that's the main nectaring source in fall. And those insects and butterflies need flowers in fall and into the as late in, as far into the winter as they survive. So yeah, there's there's a fritillary. That's a variegated fritillary also on the asters. Well, Fred Cusinelli, that was uh, in late 2008 when Lionel was running. You saw he was one of the friends who was a strong supporter of Lionel Jordan. And uh, we all got our wishes there. And of course, uh, here's another late blooming flower and some of the insects, the colorful uh, types of beetles. That's what we call Pinnacle Prairie Trail right now. Uh, it's paved through there. You can see a lot of, you've seen a lot of pictures this year by me on the trail, the flowers growing out near the trail and so forth. But that's what it was. I called it uh, Brooks Bayou then because it's the route of Brooks uh, Avenue had it been uh, built there instead of what became a trail after we protested the street going through there of the members of our neighborhood. Anyhow, till next time, this is Alba Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, keep your <laughs> air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, it's Alba Shepherd on the 2nd of January, 2014. Got to learn to say 2014. Let's see what photos we have this week. And there's Hardy Daniel at right with John Rule. Hardy was not in the picture when we did a short take a week or so ago, so I, I made that picture after we did the short take so we could see him. He's the stepson of John Rule. And he's, he's up there in the age, and he's a well, not a rocket science, but an uh, aeronautical scientist. Um, 
and retired, I believe, finally. But anyhow, there's uh, John Zimmer. He's got a great little automobile. And I, said, I thought that was brand new. And he said, no, I've had that for <laughs> eight years now, I believe. But anyway, John was a Navy veteran and uh, got a little video clip of his talking about Navy ships, the Coast Guard ships, and things like that. Uh, the, well, it's on YouTube, you can see it. But this was a practice run for the uh, big drop, <laughs> the uh, countdown for New Year's Eve in Fayetteville. I had no intention of going back down there when it was as cold as it was on New Year's Eve and, and getting any video or photos. So I got a little video clip and or two and some photos. You got to respect the guys like the gas company that's out replacing a line to the in a gas meter on what the 31st of uh, January. This is down at the Federal uh, Senior Center. Very welcoming note on the door. Come on in. Door is shut because it's very cold. But come on in. Brr. Also, let's see what other side. Okay. This is something you too can have at your home or put it on your mailbox or whatever you want anyway. No soliciting. Uh, Phil has a rule and, and is a, providing those signs that you can use. Mallard ducks in Fayetteville. Well, some years you see them uh, nesting in the summer here, but you always in the winter see a few. And these, I believe, are migratory mallards that have stopped off. There may, have, may be some ducks on that pond in Fayetteville. You can see a different angle there all the time, every year. But um, a lot of them are mixed uh, species, uh, uh, varieties. But uh, those were very shy and swam out toward the middle as I drove up, so I didn't get a, a real clear, good picture of them. But that's an urban pond. If you don't know where it is, then maybe I shouldn't tell you, but they it's privately owned and by the owners of the houses that surround that pond, just off North Street. This is the trail extension. <coughs> now that would be headed toward Walker Park. It's That's 9th Street. It's all torn up to the right there. Now you're looking at Locust Avenue, and you're looking northward toward downtown. And there they freshly paved that. That was on the 30th or the 31st. I can't remember which day it was now. I believe it was the 30th. Uh, December of 2013. Fresh pavement. Sunny. They hadn't been working very much for a while on that, but they're finally getting that paved all the way to the edge of, of the Stout Spring of the Town Branch of the West Fork of White River. And to your right there behind that van working uh, is where the, the uh, through those woods this water flows here. Now that's looking north on Locust, and that's, I call it Locust Bayou, or Locust Branch of the town branch. And it uh, overflows a lot. Another segment of the South Fayetteville Trail System is the uh, segment going to the railroad overpass, underpass, or whatever. This is an old tunnel uh, for the East-West Railroad. And, and notice how the soil's eroding off. They tried to put uh, uh, mats on, on top of that to hold it down, but we've had a lot of precipitation this winter, and it keeps washing away. That's just the view through there, shot by long distance, and that shows the erosion up close and personal. You can see a hole right up there by the railroad. Uh, that's, that's covering the old arch. It's hidden, and it was a lot better looking and more interesting than this. Anyway, well, we did go to a party and saw some nice folks on uh, New Year's Eve, stayed till the barn bell rang and, and uh, enjoyed the uh, festivities with a lot of people laughing and talking. I talked at see, uh, Fayetteville City Council recently about how things were valuable things thrown in dumpsters. So I made a picture this week. And, uh, there was a fellow uh, there that was collecting aluminum cans, and I think he probably ended up being the one that takes that home, but I hope he didn't take it to the recycle because it looked like it was still new. 
But this is what students do. They throw away things that they don't have room for in the car, or they don't think they're going to need where they're going, but they don't think about dropping them off at uh, some of the homeless shelter situations such as Salvation Army and Seven Hills and places that might connect these with somebody who actually needs some of these appliances and clothing. Also, even food, canned food. Sometimes the guys collecting aluminum just also get a bunch of canned food. Till next time, please do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. Think about not wasting 